Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to the next Weekly General with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby. You know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And Tribal Tuesday and Mindset Magic are open. You can get your seats if you want to get those. Hit the link in the description box below. Uh, so I'm trying out some different layouts. I'm just going to, I mean, this is an old layout, but um, I'm just trying different things out this year because, you know, I want to see what works, what doesn't. And so let me know how this one speaks to you. I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week, the destiny card for the weekly general overview is... The moon card, right? Allowing things to come full circle, allowing things to come to their natural completion and end. This is also a card that sees you taking off the rose tinted glasses. This week it's gonna be about seeing things exactly as they are. This means people, situations, experiences, events. This week, even your past is going to be visible for exactly what it was. Uh, connections that you have with people are going to be really, really crystal clear to you this week. And, you know, some of it's not necessarily going to be comfortable. Some of it might not be uh, the experience uh, that you want, right? The fact that this stuff is coming up means that, you know, when one thing ends, something new can begin. And the moon card can sometimes be about fear as well. And this is asking you, what is it that you're afraid to let go of? What is it that you're afraid to see exactly as it is or who you're afraid to see exactly as they are? You know, when we do that, when we keep those rose tinted glasses on, it's not only a way that we allow things or people to fool us, it's also a part of our ego that allows us to remain trapped in an old paradigm. When you're ready to move on and evolve beyond something, you have to start calling things and people as you see them. And unfortunately, that's not always a, com you know, nobody really likes conflict. I think even, you know, some of the stronger signs like Aries and, and uh, Scorpio, right? I, I think even they, like, they'll do it because they have to, because it's the, it's what needs to be done. But I don't think anybody truly likes conflict, you know, apart from like, if you're an MMA fighter, meh, whatever, um, you know, I, I, but I don't think anybody really innately likes conflict because it's kind of against everything that we all stand for, you know, collectively. And I think what really feels evident for me is that this week you are going to have to have some of those hard looks at things, at people, at experiences in your life. And it feels to me like some of that is going to lead to conversations that are could possibly be very uncomfortable. It's important that you go down this route. It's important that you rip the plaster off, take off the rose tinted glasses and say, this is this, this is this, and this is this, right? And if that means somebody comes to you and tells you something about your person, about your character, about your way of being, then so be it. But when it's seen the light of day, when it's come out of the shadows, it's no longer scary, right? It's no longer able to subconsciously control you uh, in any way, shape or form. So allow this, this moon card to let it bubble up to the surface because once it has, you can then truly clear the air. And it's interesting because there's a conversation that I know I need to have this week. And I'm like, I've been putting it off for months, but I'm going to have it. And obviously, whenever that happens, the chips will fall where they may. And I think, if anything, it's going to be the best and brightest expression for all that are involved, you know. So let's have a look at the direction card. Let's give this some context of what it might sort of entail or what the road towards this or even away from it might look like. At the high priestess right look at this lots of water so everybody's going to be kind of in their emotions it's going to be quite a feely emotional sort of emotionally charged week so to speak which is interesting and the, the high priestess as a direction 
look at that, right? I said, I know there's a conversation that I've been ha waiting to have. This really feels for me like a lot of us this week are gonna divulge either a secret, something we've been holding on to, something we've been harboring, something that we have been putting off, that our intuition is kind of saying, you can't ignore this anymore. You can't uh, just pretend it's not a factor. You have to do something about it. You have to speak your truth. You have to say what you, you know is the right thing for you to say, right? And it's interesting because your high priestess is hidden things revealed, hidden things that come to light. Yes, it's your intuition and your psychic ability and your psychic awareness, but it is also the things that you hold in the depths of who you are. And the fact that this is the direction, this is kind of saying all of that stuff that's under there, all of that stuff that you've been biting your tongue on or holding back on, it needs to come out now. And if you don't start releasing it uh, consciously, it's either going to explode or it's going to become a festering wound or, you know, very often it's like disease, dis-ease. When you don't do something or express it or expel it, it turns inward that energy and it makes you sick. Uh, and I learned a long time ago never to do that. So that's not happening. <laughs> right? It's just really not. Um, on the, the wider world stage for all of us, we could see this week, it looks like the, the eclipse, the lunar eclipse, has, is bringing, there's going to be a big one coughed up this week. Uh, and I think it's going to be an event that is probably quite shocking to a few people. I'm going to put myself out there on this one. And I can literally hear everyone I know like, Raf, you never do it. So don't, just don't do it. But I'm going to do it. Uh, all of the stuff that's taking place uh, with the British monarchy at the moment... I feel like there may be an energy of defection going on. I feel like there might be something of that nature that comes out this week. I don't think it's all as rosy as it's being played out to be. Um, and I feel like there's going to be a big one coughed up this week. And what do I mean by a big one? A big secret of some sort that's going to be divulged or uh, exposed or leaked or whatever. Um, and I feel like that's... Probably we're, we're, we're due for it. Uh, and across the wider world stage in some way, shape or form, I think we're going to see a lot of this. This week there's going to be a few shocking things that I feel are going to start to come out. Uh, in terms of um, environmental or uh, ecological sort of stuff, I actually feel like this is going to have something to do with either our oceans or our... Um, our waterways. I feel like that's going to be the, the next big sort of topic or subject over the course of this week. And then the insight card, Ooh, I'm chucking them all out there. So we've got the seven of swords, uh, right? And then what was the other one? Because I'm sure I saw the chariot card there somewhere. No, I didn't. I mean, just imagined it. Really interesting, right? Because the Seven of Swords is lies, it's deceit, it's things that have been held back, very often deliberately held back. And I hate this card. I don't hate many things in life, right? Um, it's just a very dark and wasted energy. But this card really is probably the one that angers me the most, aside from a, co a specific combination of cards, but that's for another time. I really dislike this card because of what it represents. Lies, deceit, deliberately holding things back. Um, I'd rather the Ten of Swords, because at least I know what I'm dealing with and it's out in the open. Whereas this card is sneaky, you know, behind the back, backstabbing, all of that sort of shit. And I don't like any of that. If you, if you don't like me, if you've got a problem with me, if you dislike me, whatever, no problem. Tell me to my face, we'll deal with it, and then it's done. You know, I, I that's just me as a person, right? That's my energy. Um, the fact that we've got this Seven of Swords as an insight card with the High Priestess in close proximity and the Moon card, big secrets will be revealed this week across the board in our personal lives, um, on the wider world stage. Uh, this looks like, a, I don't know why, I just got this feeling there's gonna be some big secrets that are coughed up this week. And this uh, Seven of Swords kind of reiterates that to me. So I'm gonna ask a different deck, what do we need to know? to lighten the mood because these are quite this is just quite a heavy little triplet this one um ooh, okay what do i need to what do we need to know to lighten the mood the nine of pentacles is what we need to know to lighten the mood and what i love about this card 
This is a message to tell you, no matter what comes up, no matter what happens on the wider world stage, no matter what secrets or revelations are revealed to you on a personal level, what you need to know is you've done the work, right? You know that you've done the work. You know that you've put your, your heart and soul into whatever it is. The Nine of Pentacles isn't just about beauty and skills and all the rest of it. It's about hard work and the efforts. It's about where you've sacrificed in order to get that one fraction closer closer to what it is that you want to see in your life or to make things better in some way, shape or form. And the fact that you have this card um, really does for me, that's the feeling that I get from it. There's a, a, a real air of the universe is saying, you've done the work. You've, you know, you've, there's been times where you've put yourself in positions where you've not, um, where you've had to sacrifice your time, your energy, your resources, whatever it is, in order to get that step closer to what it is that you hope to see in your life. This is your protection. This is the universe saying, you know what, I see all of your other efforts that you've been put in. So no matter what comes up, just know that you have done enough to, to kind of pretty much sail through this, even if it is a big one coughed up to, to you or about you or for you or whatever all right so it's not all doom and gloom okay <laughs> don't ever see it as that way because it's there's always the opportunities and the chances to grow through everything that we face all right i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know in the comments how it shapes up what you think if you see anything on the news that correlates to what i've said please let me know so many of you do and i'm always astounded because people are like you said this would happen and i'm like i know oh my god <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, as I've always said, the day I stop being uh, surprised, astounded, humbled and awed by this work is the day that I'll stop doing it. Um, until then, have an amazing week. Take care. Let me know and I'll see you soon.